Hey, I'm Rob, sales manager at Jessel, and what I've got for you today are some of our setup and maintenance tools we have available for our shaft rocker systems. So what I have here is our spring seat pressure tester. We have some of our lash adjusting wrenches, spring removal tool, push rod length checker, and what I'm going to start off with demonstration today is our stand height checking gauge. All right, so what I did here is I bolted the stand down directly to the cylinder head without any shims. And we're going to do a quick test fit of the geometry. We take a rocker pair, drop it on the cylinder number one here. And just by looking at it, I see that the roller is on the back edge of the valve. So what that tells me is the stand's going to need to be shimmed up. So how much shim it needs is going to be determined by using our stand height checking gauge. So first thing we need to do is get the checker spring off of here. So we're going to pop that off. Take our checking shaft. Drop it onto the stand. Make sure the valve's all the way up. Drop our checker on the valve. And you notice the valve is sticking above the checker. So that tells us that the stand needs to get shimmed up. Grab our caliper. Drop it on here. And it says we need to go about 150 thousandths. Okay, so we went ahead and added the appropriate amount of shim underneath the stand, which was 150 thousandths. Bolted everything back down. And one thing to remember, when you're adding shim, make sure to use a longer bolt to compensate for the shim that you're adding. So now we're going to go ahead and recheck the geometry. We're going to drop our checker shaft on, make sure the valve's up, drop the checker over the valve stem, and now you notice that the valve stem is flush with the tool. That's where you want your geometry to be set. So if you want to double check what it looks like, we're going to take our rocker pair, drop it back on here, take a look at the roller, and now you see the roller is slightly behind the center line of the valve tip. That's exactly where you want the roller to start. Our next step after this is a check for push rod length. The shaft rocker system, before you measure push rod length, you've got to make sure the stand is set at the correct height. Now, we just got done doing that using our stand height checking gauge. So now to check the push rod length, we're going to go ahead and use our adjustable push rod length checker. First thing we need to do is make sure the lifter is on the base circle of the cam, which is opposite a full lift. So once the lifter is all the way down, we're going to take our checker push rod, I'm going to drop it in, make sure it is into the cup of the lifter. I'm going to take our rocker pair, bolt it down. We're just going to use a center bolt for now, just lightly bolt it down, just to keep it snug. We're going to adjust the end of the push rod until we're at zero lash, and then we're going to back off until we get the lash that we're looking for. It's a little more. It's right about there. We're going to unbolt our pair, move over here, get our caliper, measure the push rod, and it's saying it measures in at 7 inches 820. So an application like this, you're going to need a 7 inch 800 long push rod. So next thing I'm going to show you is how to use our on-head valve spring removal and insulation tool. If you need to install or remove springs on the cylinder head, we have this great tool made by DRC Products. This tool is real easy to use, bolts on a stand where the rocker pair normally bolts to. What I'm going to demonstrate here is we're going to take off our checker spring and put the actual race spring back on the head. We're going to take our retainer and keeper off, just going to hold on to them. Take our actual race spring, drop it on there. Now one thing to keep in mind, before you take the retainer off, Make sure the piston's at top dead center and you have pressurized air going into the cylinder. If that valve drops down into the cylinder, you're going to be taking a whole head off to retrieve that valve. So we're going to take our retainer, pop it on our spring, center everything up. Your keeper's ready. First keeper is in. Second keeper is in. And our spring's installed. Next on the lineup, or valve lash checking tools. Although you won't have to set valve lash as often with the shaft rocker system, when you do, we have this awesome tool made by Logan Smith Machine. It features a built-in torque wrench, holds a T-handle, and a socket that you need for the adjuster nut. To use it, simply put on a rocker, loosen the nut, set your valve lash where it needs to be, snug down on the wrench until it breaks away. Now the adjuster nut is torqued to the proper spec. If you want to save a few dollars, we have a wrench made by Full Bore Products. It's a simple box wrench with a T-handle. Works the same way. Loosen the rocker nut, adjust the valve lash, snug down on a nut. Now one thing to remember about our rocker system. 
The adjuster torque should be no more than 25 foot-pounds. Tightening it more than that could actually hurt the rocker. Now, the next tool up on our list is our valve seat pressure tester. Valve spring maintenance is very critical for a shaft rocker system. If the spring starts going soft, it's going to wind up floating the valve, it's going to wind up hurting the rocker, as well as the lifter. So what you want to do to check the valve spring pressure, we have a Logan Smith valve seat pressure tester. Now this tool is set for 0 to 600 pounds of seat pressure. It simply hangs on the back of the rocker arm. You pull on the lever until the spring just starts to open. And in this case here, it's telling me that the seat pressure is set to 230 foot-pounds, so I know that this spring here is okay. So for more information on this tool, as well as any other tools we talked about, go to our website at jessel.com or give us a call at 732-901-1800. Thanks for watching.